Hello everyone, and welcome back to day 13 of NaNoWriMo, and also welcome to week 2 of Self Care Friday. Hey! So I just got out of the bath, so that explains why I look like a red tomato, <laughs> a wet, oily, a red, oily, wet tomato. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, basically I gave myself a bath, um, for my self-care, and I'm also going to meditate, and, um, I'm going to make myself some breakfast, um, I'm, I'm kind of in the mood for French toast today, so, um, I'm gonna make that. And then I will start doing some writing prompts and reading some pep talks. Alright, let's get right into it. Alright, so, um, I finished my breakfast, but also I finished my writing prompt and my, and writing down some of the things that jumped out at me from the pep talk that I read this morning. So, um, let's get into the writing prompt. Um, I was, I feel like I was about to burp, you guys, I'm really sorry. Okay, so, um, the writing, pro the writing prompt for the day is write about a time when you found it hard to forgive someone. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> um. So, one week, so if you guys don't know, just in case you guys didn't know and haven't been on my channel yet, um, I also do covers on my channel, so, um, yeah, basically I'm a writer and a singer, <laughs> um, so basically, one week I was about to film a cover and my older sister was in bed and she was like can you get out I can't move and I'm sick and I have class in 15 minutes and I was so mad I was about to set up my YouTube equipment and so I was so mad that I threw my microphone and um the leg of the microphone broke and and I was so and I marched out of the room and I screamed sick people are the waste of, are a waste of time and even school people are a waste of time too and then it occurred to me and I'm all like wait oh wait I'm in school, I should not be saying that, but, you know, I was like, oh, waste, sick people are a waste of time, and I was so sad because I broke my microphone and I can't fix it, and I was so mad at my older sister that I blamed it on her, like, I was like, this is all her fault, it's her fault that my microphone broke because... She made me lose my temper, and I threw my microphone, and the leg was broken, and I can't fix it. <laughs> so, yeah. But I was over it, um, and I forgave her. Um, I was the one who, like I, and like I said, I was the one who lost my temper, and I need to work on that. I have some angry, I have some anger issues, guys. So, um... Yeah, but, um, I'm trying to work on earning, um, earning myself a new microphone because, you know, a lot of the YouTube equipment is really expensive and, you know, if you don't take care of it, then you don't have, and you don't have what the heck? <laughs> okay, anyways. 
if you know if your equipment if you break your equipment and um um and you don't have any insurance then then any insurance then obviously uh you're doomed <laughs> so take care of your equipment guys don't lose your temper don't throw any equipment if anyone makes you mad <laughs> i need to work on my anger issues but yeah that was the time when i had a hard time forgiving someone but i gotten over it so yeah so this pep talk letter uh, is from sue sue grafton it was written in 2007 and this quote jumped out at me as I was reading it, so this is what it is. <clears throat> Disregard the voice piping up from your brain. You aren't stupid. You won't fail. You won't humiliate yourself that much in front of your family and friends. The importance, the, the, the important point is to keep up your momentum regardless of the fact that you might stumble now and then. Most people that you know have never written a novel at all, let alone pounded one, pounded one out in a jam-packed 30 days. Um, so, yeah. We got to... So... Uh, day five was really hard for me. Um, mainly because I did not quite reach the goal um, that I was supposed to write. But um, also I was kind of disappointed that I was not able to vlog, to post the vlog that day. And... Also, I was um, having a panic attack when I was trying to sleep, and I and it was really hard. I was panicking about like the fact that I might not be able to um, to accom to accomplish my goals. I might not be able to win NaNoWriMo, and I might not be able to do this. It's really hard. It's terrible. It's horrible. And and then one and then that the next morning I was like, you know what? It's Friday. This should be a day for me to take care of myself. This should be a day of self-care. So I decided to go in the bath and as I was in the bath, of bath, I was just telling myself, you know, not many people have conquered NaNoWriMo. Like, not many people did really well in, during NaNoWriMo. So, I have to tell myself that I'm not alone. And also, I have to tell myself that, you know, I have, I have 25 days. I can still do this. Like, I can still accomplish the goal that I wanted to accomplish. I can still do this. Um, and, um, you know, Shay from, so Shay, um, has been doing a few writing sprints, um, and she, um, she's been going live on the writing sprints 
and she had recently done one with um, Becca C. Smith, and and she was giving us this advice, and um, she keeps on giving us um, this quote by Bruce Lee, and it says, A goal is not always meant to be reached, but often serves simply as something to aim at. So, yeah, um, basically don't be so hard on yourself because, um, not many people, like I said before, not many people have conquered NaNoWriMo, not many people did well, and that's okay. And a goal is not meant to be reached, but, um, a goal is not always meant to be reached. But something, but it's also, but it's meant to be something to, to be something to aim at. So, basically, a goal is not like, oh, I'm gonna do this today. Oh, I did it. I conquered it. It's more like, um, you know what? I'm gonna do this, but... I have to aim at it. I have to keep my... I have to keep my head in the game, you know? I have to look forward and aim at that goal. So, and also, it's not that effortless. It's not that effortless to try to to achieve that goal. It's... You know, it's work. It's a lot of work. But, yeah. So, <laughs> anyways, a goal, like, if you think about it, a goal is not meant to be so effortless. In order to achieve our goal, and in order to aim to aim at our goals we we need to we need to be working really really hard and you know don't listen to any what anyone says and you know Brandon Sanderson he said this in um in a conference at Teen, Teen Author Boot Camp. And he said, this is something that he said, writing is a viable career choice. So if anyone in your family or if anyone in your friend group is like, so you're gonna be a writer, that means you're not gonna have a job, you're not gonna, you're gonna be unemployed, boo. But if and if anyone asks me that, I will say, well, yeah, that's my choice. That's my choice. It's my choice to be a writer. And no one, and he said this too, no one can make you. No one should make you a writer. It's your choice to be a writer. It's not like you have to write or I'm writing, you should be writing. Like being a writer is your choice. I made that choice myself. So yeah, and Anyone who asked you that, like what Sue Grafton has said, they have never even written a novel. Let alone, they never, never did they, <laughs> never have they done NaNoWriMo, where they, where you stuff like 50,000 words in one month. 
So, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to say, so. Just aim at your goal, guys. Just aim at your goal. You can do this. And if anyone is telling you otherwise, just just try to accept it and just be all like, okay, they're not going to support me. That's fine. But this is my choice. So, um, yeah. I'm going to meditate and then watch 30 minutes of YouTube and then I'm going to start writing. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, I just got back from class. Um, here's the deal. I have not written anything today. So, and I wasn't able to tune in for sprints because I was um, doing the school because I was in class. But um, now, luckily, all I have to do is just write 1,667 words by the end of tonight. So, um, if I could re- if I could write that many words, that would be awesome. So yeah, that's my plan. Alright, so I started writing at 4.35, and now it's 5, approximately 5.40. And I've only written 551 words, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to take another break, and then I'll write some more. And um, hopefully by the end of tonight I will get to 1,667 1, words. So yeah, that's my update so far. Alright, so I started writing at 9.05, and it is approximately 10.10, 10, 10, 10, 10. <laughs> and um, I've written, and so my total words for right now is 1,315, so that's pretty good. Um, that means I will need, let's see. 1,315 plus 1,600. Um, so I only need 300 more words. So, um, yeah. Yeah, 352. 352 more words to reach my nano goal. So I hope that I could do it. Yeah. Wish me luck, everyone. Wish me luck. Okay, so I started writing at 11 and I've written 363 more words. And in total, and, I, and I've gotten 1,600. 178 and in total I've written 24,090 words. Woo! 24k! I did it! <laughs> Let's go update Nano! Alright, so here is my update. Uh, if it will focus. Okay, well I don't think it it's going to focus, but Look at it! Oh, focus. Come on, focus. Focus. Okay. <laughs> well, even if it's out of focus, you could still see my progress. So, you know what? Whatever. <laughs> guys, guys, in no time, I'm going to reach 25... 25k tomorrow. Ooh, I'm so excited. But yeah, that's my um nano update. And that concludes my vlog for today. 
And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and leave your request. Why do I keep on saying that? I mean, sure. I mean, yeah, leave your request in the comments below. But also let me know how you guys are doing for NaNoWriMo. NaNoWriMo. I hope your NaNoWriMo is, do is going very well. Um, if you guys are new here and haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. And um, click on the bell so that you guys don't miss anything. Alright, that's the vlog. <clears throat> that's the vlog. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to stay, hap stay happy, stay safe, and stay cool. And I'm off to the moon, and I will be back soon.